We work with many organisations from small businesses and startups to mid-size organisations right up to global and corporate entities. And although they are all extremely different in, um, in size and scale and dynamic, we, are, uh, we uncover that there, are, there is a common denominator between them and that is that all organisations, no matter how small or big or, or different, uh, they all encounter a period where their productivity plateaus and they have to sort of take stock, take a step back and start to reevaluate things to continue the tra trajectory of growth. So we've observed this and we've analysed this and I've come up with a, a theory called the hourglass theory. And I'm going to talk you through this now. So the hourglass theory is based on any size business in any industry, no matter how mature uh, or, or young or old in age. Uh, and if you look at this, the, uh, the hourglass theory starts with a base, which is products and services. Every organisation has to have a quality product or service to be in business. That's just a, a blatantly obvious fact. So we start with great organisations have a, have a quality base of great products and services. And then what tends to happen is if you think of these as pebbles getting dropped into the top of the hourglass, companies start off and they start to win customers. And these customers start to build up in the organisation's portfolio. And this is known as the early adopters. The early adopters. Now life is great in, at this stage of business. You are winning customers, you have very little overheads, you have lots of bandwidth, and we all believe we're gonna become millionaires. It's a great period of business. But then you start to be more successful and win more customers. And when you start to fill up the hourglass uh, as such, you enter your second period within business, which is what we call the scaling up period scaling up period. Now again, this is an incredibly enjoyable time in business because you're starting to grow, your success is starting to take off, your brand is building, you still have relatively low overheads or manageable overheads um, and again life is great. Then that success drives the business forward and we start to win more customers. Now this period of time is what we call the plateau of organic growth. Plateau of organic growth. Now this, the reason we call it the plateau is because if you can imagine your customer base is now filling up, your bandwidth is starting to reduce, you are employing more people, your overheads are increasing, and all of a sudden you've still got to service and maintain all of those customers um, within your business. So things really start to slow down and we can start to see businesses really start to slow up in their trajectory of growth. And then finally, what we tend to see is businesses will add even more customers at that point and they reach what we call the apex of the hourglass, which is the sustainability threshold. The sustainability threshold. Now, why do organisations reach the sustainability threshold? And by the way, that lifespan from here to here can be anything from one year to 15 years. Organisations will go through that life cycle at different lengths and in, in different time frames. But at some point, most organisations, no matter what size, no matter what industry, will, will reach the sustainability threshold. And we find that they reach the sustainability threshold on three things. Number one, people. The, the, the people they have brought into the organisation or their workforce has not matured as quick as the organisation have. Sometimes we've hired the wrong people in, sometimes we haven't hired enough people, sometimes we've put too, much, too many people in, sometimes the people don't have the right skill set to be able to deliver against an ever-growing organisation. So people is the first reason why businesses reach the sustainability threshold. Reason number two, process. Again, just with people, businesses who have grown significantly over a period of time, their processes either don't mature as fast as the organisation is, or they've stacked the organisation full of too much process and it is strangling people's ability uh, to, to operate and, and, it, and the business's level of productivity. And number three, technology. Technology, we find, is 
the third reason why people hit the sustainability threshold in the hourglass theory. They have either grown too fast and not brought in the right technology to support business growth, or they've bought and, and, and implemented too much technology and, and it's not really working for the organization. So people, process and technology are the fundamental reasons why businesses, no matter how small or large, reach the sustainability threshold. Um, so what we do here at Trans2 and where, when we get the call, if you like, is primarily on these two things, to go into organizations, upskill their people, refine, consolidate, and improve their business processes so they can almost widen the hourglass apex and push up through into the top half to carry on growing at the rate they've been growing for previous years. And that is fundamentally the key to sustainable growth, to tackle your people, process, and technology as you're going up the, the life cycle of the hourglass and not sort of reach it and then have to try and react and deal with it. And you know what we then tend to find is that most companies we've surveyed who have been in business between 20 and 30 years have probably experienced the hourglass theory two or three times over. And what they tend to do is grow, 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 stop and spend a six to 12 month period of fixing the organization. Then they grow again, five year, years later, they encounter the same thing. So they just have these periods of where their productivity plateaus uh, and they have to make significant changes to push on up and grow the organization again. So the biggest piece of advice we can give you uh, here at Trans2 is to be aware of the hourglass theory. And if you can, and best you can, if you can start working on and focusing on your people, process, and technology as you go up and onto the journey, you are much more likely to widen the apex and push on up to sustainable growth.